Hello everybody, how are you doing? Today I'm going to tell you something about the fallacies of Curriculum Development Center and most of the ELD practitioners of Nepal about the poem Did I Miss Anything by Tom Wayman. Here there is the false in interpretation of the poem Did I Miss Anything and uh, that is a problem with the question also and it has been misunderstood and misinterpreted by most of the English language teacher as curriculum development center has provided a uh, false interpretation in its teacher's guide or its reference material there you can see the fallacies what did the students do in the absence of the teachers the question is asked in this way and uh, rather than uh, saying that the students was absent uh, they have um, written there that uh, they have asked the question what did the students do and here uh, in the fill in the blanks exercise in the absence of the uh, students in the absence of teachers uh, what did the students do uh, so, such kind of questions has, have been asked this proves that there is the misunderstanding or there is misinterpretation of the poem so I wanted to tell you something about that if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please subscribe the channel uh, and share it to many as many people uh, as you can so uh, this message or this misinterpretation can be uh, removed from the people you can see curriculum development center in its page it has uploaded this file and in this file in page number 111 you can see the second question the students sat silently holding their hands on the deck this is here what you call fallacy of the curriculum development center or the wrong interpretation or the wrong understanding of curriculum development center the students sat silently folding their hands on the uh, absence of their teachers so this is just and instead of the students the teacher the teacher himself sat silently or sat with his hands folded along with other many students who were present in the classroom there but instead of that curriculum development center here has mentioned that the students the students sat silently folding their hands instead of the teacher so this is the problem here i wanted to explore or i wanted to uh, justify why is this problem here i have I collected the material i've collected the views of the uh, author also uh, in what sense did the author uh, compose this poem so um, i'll uh, justify why is this fallacy or why is this misinterpretation here and uh, another thing is that uh, the, regarding the exercises given by the curriculum development center in its uh, textbook our english grade 10 so there are some uh, problems with exercises also i'll be i'll show you i'll be showing you that also while doing google or while surfing from the google i found that uh, the experts of curriculum development center are probably uh, those who are setting this book or were preparing the reference book or uh, the teacher's guide they uh, went through the internet or they can they uh, googled it and they copied the same exercises and the same interpretation of this google that is uh, shown here uh, it's uh, somehow blur uh, so here uh, the same exercises uh, they have been kept there in this book uh, right so uh, what did the students do uh, uh, the, the question number one what is the, who composed this poem the same exercises in the book what did the students do in the absence of the teacher that is mentioned there and the answer is in the absence of the teacher of uh, teacher uh, is to, uh, in the absence in the teacher's absence the students uh, they sat they sat uh, in silence with their hands folded on the decks so this has been mentioned and the same thing 
without any changes blindly they have kept it in our in the uh, english book of grade 10 and that point did i miss anything they didn't um, even think whether this was uh, wrong or uh, not or correct or incorrect so this is their carelessness and because of this thing uh, this time uh, teachers most of the yeah, the practitioners in this language teachers and students they are in confusion about the interpretation of this text or interpretation of this poem so uh, here after this i'll show you what does the poet say about this here let me show you what is the poet himself what does Tom Wayman himself say about this interpretation or the interpretation of the poem. I visited the the website of uh, Tom Wayman, uh, the poet of Did I Miss Anything? So he says that uh, uh, he answers uh, or uh, the question how did the poem come to be written? He says the poem arose because the student, uh, uh, this question, uh, the student uh, asked the question when uh, they were absent in the class or one of the students who was absent in the class he asked if uh, he missed anything so this poem has been composed uh, and he says that uh, then an absent is, uh, a student shows up um, and asks whether uh, he missed he or she missed anything or whether anything happened in the class so this clearly shows us that one of the students in the class was absent and because of that, the teacher was uh, unable to teach, or the teacher didn't teach uh, him or her anything, thinking that he or she would miss the class. So the teacher there sat with his hands folded in the silence for a full two hours. It's not the student who sat uh, with the with uh, the hands folded um, because the teacher was absent. Rather, they, one of the students was absent, and teacher with other many students sat on the desk with the hands folded so this is the uh, true and uh, this is the correct interpretation of the poem rather than the student the teacher with other many students sat uh, with his hands folded this would be done there so uh, then next i'll make the interpretation i'll briefly talk about the uh, uh, interpretation i'll interpret the poem on my own the poem starts with the question the title of the poem is did i miss anything question and we saying this did I miss anything is important so one of the absent students is asking this question did I miss anything when he missed his class and he went to the class the next day the, the poem starts with nothing nothing in this poem the teacher has written okay one a, a teacher is the speaker in this poem and he has represented both students as well as teachers uh, tone or pers attitude or the pers perspective of both teacher and the student nothing here implies none no or not not so important no significant insignificant things nothing when we realized you were not here we sat with our hands folded on our decks in silence for the full two hours so here nothing so the teacher thought that when the student himself asks whether he missed something and he himself answer he didn't miss anything or he missed nothing and the teacher in the same stanza in the same stanza after the answer uh, the teacher has uh, represented or uh, the poet has represented the teacher's tone or the teacher's perspective that is when we realize the teacher says that when we realized you were not here we sat with our hands folded the teacher and we here refers to the teacher as well as other students who were present in the class they sat with their hands folded on the desk in silence for the two hours by the way the fallacy there was some people were believing that uh, the students sat with their hands folded when the teacher was not present in the class uh, the second stanza everything everything here refers to the perspective of teacher everything i gave an exam worth 40 percent of the grade for this term and assigned some reading due today 
on which I'm about to hand out a quiz worth 50%. Here, the teacher says that he has uh, I gave an exam worth, or uh, he administrated or he conducted an exam when the student was not present in the class. So, uh, the teacher is angry here. In the first part, first student, he says that he didn't do anything, uh, he just sat with other students who were present in the class. But in the second student, uh, he got angry when the student said nothing. When the student said uh, he didn't miss anything when he was not in the class, the teacher got angry and the teacher is teasing his students, saying that everything I gave an exam worth, he gave, um, he constructed, he administrator or he conducted exams and other students were giving exam when one of the students was not available or not present in the class and this is he says he assigned some uh, reading and uh, he is about to ask quiz question from that reading so similarly uh, the third stanza says again nothing nothing the students attitude or the perspective of the student none of the content of this course has value or meaning take as many so the student here thinks that the, the, the student uh, is thinking this and the teacher himself is reflecting the student idea here or the student's perspective none of the content of this course has value or meaning so it, this is the teacher student attitude or this is what the student uh, the believer this is what the student think and is not present in the class right so take as many days by saying take as many days as you like the teacher is mocking the student the teacher is teaching a student take as many days as you like any activities we undertake as a class any anything we do in the class this means i assume you will not matter either to you or me and are without purpose now here the teacher is mocking his student right so the teacher is thinking that his student is talking about uh, the uh, insignificance uh, of the classroom, of the teaching, uh, classroom teaching here. And here, any activity we, we undertake as a class, this will not matter to the teacher as well as the student. So the teacher is thinking here, the, uh, or the teacher is reflecting the student psychology because the student uh, thought that the classroom teaching was less important less significant and he got absent for some days and this is how uh, it talks about the irrelevance or uh, the less importance of the classroom teaching so in the next stanza everything this is again teacher's tone here everything a few minutes after we began began last time uh, so the teacher is saying that in the, when they were, uh, when he was teaching the class, a shaft of light, a, a ray of light suddenly descended, uh, suddenly uh, descended, means went away, and an angel or other heavenly being appeared and revealed us, revealed to us what each man or woman, woman or man must do. This is what you call the teach the the angel, the real angel didn't appear there. Rather, the teacher himself is the symbolic representation of the angel. This is how uh, in their class, in their class, uh, or when one of the students who was absent, the teacher told other students what we must to do or what they must to do and must not to do to attain divine wisdom in this life and the hereafter. Uh, wh what should we do to get to get to attain or to achieve? So knowledge to achieve wisdom and life skill the teacher might have taught those valuable thing and is, is saying that and this is the last time this is the last time the class will meet before we disperse to bring the good news to all the people on earth so the teacher is saying that that was the last class uh, they disperse means they depart to bring the good news to all the people on the world after the class the students they are going to be good people in the life so this was the last class but the student was not present in the class right so nothing and at last again uh, there is not last second last paragraph nothing when you were not present how could some sign something significant occur
now this is nothing is told by the teacher right nothing when you are not present in the previous stanza the student perspective was that but in this stanza nothing when you are not present how could something significant occur this is told by the teacher right so this is he is indirectly saying uh, he's a student he's teaching his student he's mocking his student right and uh, again he's answering that everything contained in this classroom is a microsome of human experience assembled for you to query and examine and ponder this is not the only place such an opportunity has been gathered so this is how the poet the teacher is he is telling his student that uh, how could some significant occur when he was not or uh, one of the students who was not available in the class uh, he said that everything contained in this classroom is a microsome of human experience and it is the tiny things the small things uh, which are practiced or which are discussed in the classroom that is the that is the tiny thing but that is really important for human experience and and the classroom is one where students they can put forward their questions and they can examine and those uh, their queries they can have their queries answered so that is the place where the students can learn something valuable and important for their life and uh, for their uh, wisdom uh, divine wisdom this is not only the only place so the opportunity has been gathered this is not a mere place but this is the place for opportunity but it was one place and you weren't here again at last in the uh, two lines or in two lines in the, the teacher says that it was one place but you were not here means his student was not there in the class so this is how the poet uh, her this is how we should interpret this poem uh, that one of the students was not present and the student the teacher is mocking his student when he thought that when the absent student thought that the classroom teaching was not significant or he didn't miss anything as the classroom teaching was less important 